All right, here we go. Question number five from our 1316 homework number four in my lab math. They want us to solve the trigonometric equation. It says give the general formula for all the solutions, and then we need to list six solutions. So since we have a double angle, here our angle is not just theta. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a U substitution so that we're really looking for sine of u, what angles u, uh, produce sine being negative half, okay? So remember from the unit circle, sine theta, or in this case sine u is y, sine is y, and we're looking for all the angles in the unit circle that have a y coordinate of negative half. So coming over here to the unit circle, y coordinate of negative half, is going to be at 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. There's two angles. All right, so then what we can say is we can say, okay, if u is 7 pi over 6, that'll be a solution. But then if I go a full circle, that would also be a solution. Do you understand that? If I'm at 7 pi over 6 and I keep going around a full circle, I'm going to get back to having y be negative half. And I can do this an infinite number of times, any integer multiple of 2 pi. So we're going to say the general formula for this first angle is 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k where k is any integer, any integer value, okay? Now there's another solution. If u equals 11 pi over 6, or any integer multiple of 2 pi, then that'll produce a solution to this equation, okay? So again, if you've not seen this before, this back here at the back, this is just fancy math uh, symbols. That means that k can be any element of the integers. This uh, weird looking little e, which is, uh, I think epsilon is an element of, and then the weird z means integer. k is any element of the integers. So at this point, we do have our two uh, general formulas, but notice that those are in terms of u. What we need is we need the general formulas in terms of theta. So we're not done yet, okay? I think I boxed that prematurely. We now need to take this first general form, and remember u was 2 theta. So we're now going to say instead of u, we're going to say 2 theta. Let me rewrite that nicer. Is 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. And then we're going to have to solve that for theta. In other words, we're going to have to go through and divide everybody by 2 to isolate theta. Did you know that? notice that over here? The theta is by itself, so we're going to have to get the theta by itself. So here these twos will cancel, which will give me my theta. And then we're going to have to do 7 pi over 6 divided by 2, which would be 7 pi over 12. And then here the twos will cancel and leave me just pi k. Okay, that is 1 of our general solutions for theta. Now we're going to have to go back and do it for this other general formula. So instead of u, we're going to say, okay, now it's 2 theta can be 11 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. And again, we're going to have to solve for theta. So dividing everybody by 2, those twos will cancel, and we're going to have theta is 11 pi over 6 divided by 2 is actually 11 pi over 12. 
and here these twos will cancel giving me pi over k and then this is our other general formula okay so this would be the smaller angle to start with and then this one is the bigger angle so let's see how we did okay the general solution First general solution is going to be 7 pi over 12 plus 2 pi k. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Plus pi k. I'm showing you what happens if you get in a hurry, my peeps, okay? I put a 2 that shouldn't have been there. There was not a 2 there. So 7 pi over 12 plus pi k and then the other theta for the larger angle is going to be 11 pi over 12 plus <laughs> this time just pi k and now it wants me to list six solutions so Obviously, the very first solution would be our 7 pi over 12. Don't forget your commas. And then the next angle, the next biggest angle, would be our 11 pi over 12. And if you're going, how the, what the, did you just do? Here's what I did. Remember we said that k is an integer, right? So I started off with 0. What if k is 0? If k is 0, then 0 times pi would just be 0, giving us our 7 pi over 12. And then down here, if k is 0, that would disappear and become 11 pi over 12. So when k is 0, we get our first two angles, and then we're going to do the what-if game, and we're going to say, okay, what if k is 1? What would our answers be? Well, according to the general formula, the next theta would be uh, 7 pi over 12 plus, again, I'm plugging in 1 for k, so 1 times pi would be pi. So whatever 7 pi over 12 plus pi is will be our next angle, okay? And I'm going to need a common denominator to add those. So that's going to be 7 pi over 12 plus 12 pi over 12, and that's going to be 19 pi over 12. And we're going to have another angle theta that's going to be our 11 pi over 12 coming from right here, 11 pi over 12. And again, k is 1. So 1 times pi is pi. And then I'm going to need a common denominator to add those, okay? So 11 pi over 12 plus 12 pi over 12 is going to be 23 pi over 12. And let's go ahead and input those into my lab math. That's our next two angles. 19 pi over 12 and 23 pi over 12. and then rinse and repeat, if you know what that means. Rinse and repeat. That means we've done k is 0, k is 1. What should I use k to be next? You got it. We're going to say, what if k is 2? And now we're going to plug into our general formulas here. And here, we're going to plug in a k value of 2, okay? So then our next angle would be 7 pi over 12 plus, and then that would be 2 pi. 
So again, with a common denominator, 2 pi in terms of twelfths, that would be 24 twelfths. 24 plus 7 is going to be 31 twelfths. 31 pi over 12. And then our other angle is going to be 11 pi over 12 plus 2 pi. Okay, so again, we're going to need a common denominator. 2 pi is the same as 24 pi over 12. 24 plus 11, that's going to be 35 pi over 12. And there's our next two angles. 31 pi over 12. Don't forget your comma. If you miss a comma, instant death. 35 pi over 12. And then we're going to hit enter. And we're verified. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.